june twenty second saint paulinus of nola paulinus was of a family which boasted a long line of senators and consuls he was educated with great care and his genius and eloquence in prose and verse were the admiration of saint jerome and saint augustine he had more than doubled his wealth by marriage and was one of the most foremost men of his time though he was the chosen friend of saints and had great devotion to saint felix of nola he was still only a catechumen trying to serve two masters but god drew him to himself along the way of sorrows and trials he received baptism withdrew into spain to be alone and then in concert with his holy wife sold all their vast estates in various parts of the empire distributing their proceeds so prudently that saint jerome says east and west were filled with his alms he was then ordained priest and retired to nola in campania there he rebuilt the church of st felix with great magnificence and served it night and day living a life of extreme abstinence and toil in the year four o nine he was chosen bishop and for more than thirty years ruled as to be conspicuous in an age blessed with many great and wise bishops st gregory the great tells us that when the vandals of africa had made a descent on campania paulinus spent all he had in relieving the distress of his people and redeeming them from slavery at last there came a poor widow her son only had been carried off by the son-in-law of the vandal king such as i have i give thee said the saint to her we will go to africa and i will give myself for your son having overruled her resistance they went and paulinus was accepted in place of the widow's son and employed as a gardener after a time the king found out by divine interposition that his son-in-law's slave was the great bishop of nola he at once set him free granting him also the freedom of all the townsmen of nola who were in slavery one who knew him well says he was meek as moses priest-like as aaron innocent as samuel tender as david wise as solomon apostolic as peter loving as john cautious as thomas and keen-sighted as stephen he died in the year four thirty one go to campania writes st augustine there study paulinus that choice servant of god with what generosity with what still greater humility he has flung from him the burden of this world's grandeur to take on him the yoke of christ and in his service how serene and unobtrusive his life